Hello, my name is Savannah Henniger, and I will be doing my informational speech on epinephrine pens and how to administer them. An epinephrine autoinjector, auto more commonly known as an EpiPen, is a life-saving device used by people who experience extreme anaphylactic shock. As defined by Dr. Joseph Hernandez from Stanford University on Stanford University Children's Hospital website, anaphylaxis, also called anaphylactic shock, is a severe and sometimes life-threatening reaction to an allergen. An allergen is something that you are allergic to. Anaphylaxis is a medical emergency. The reaction to the allergen can occur right away or up to an hour after exposure." End quote. Anaphylaxis can be caused by a variety of different things. The most common of those being food, insect stings, chemical exposure, or medications. The signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis are different in each and every person depending on what they are allergic to. But the most common ones you should be aware of and look for are as follows. Rashes, dizziness, shortness of breath, trouble breathing at all, swelling of the tongue, lips, or throat, nausea and vomiting, and possible loss of consciousness. Once you become aware of someone around you experiencing anaphylaxis, your first reaction to be immediately to reach for an EpiPen. Most people who are aware of their allergens will always have an EpiPen on them. As of 2019, this is the most distributed form of an EpiPen. Using an EpiPen is easy and essential knowledge for all people who have a friend and relative who have a severe allergic reactions. According to Mylan Institute EpiPen distributors on their how-to page, you start using an EpiPen by firmly grasping it in its middle. Put the orange part to the, to the thigh and the blue part to the sky. An easy way to remember this is orange to the thigh, blue to the sky. After you grasp it firmly, pull straight up on the blue side. This will start the EpiPen and get it ready for injection. After you do this, point the orange tip firmly, firmly into the thigh and hold it there. As you hold it there, make sure you count to three. It is very important that the pen stays in the person's body for at least three seconds. This ensures all the life-saving medication has gotten to the patient." End quote. After injection, the orange cover automatically extends to capture the needle so that it is no longer exposed. You can now safely dispense of the EpiPen. Call 911 after you, administ or after you administer the medication. Stay with the patient until help arrives. All epinephrine pack pens come with two single dose pens. If 911 doesn't get there within 15 to 20 minutes and the patient starts to experience the extreme signs again, you may need to give the second dose. You never know when or where you're going to encounter someone in need of your knowledge. EpiPens save lives, just as those who know how to administer them do. Thank you.